<laughs> well, I didn't know it was that kind of video. <laughs> Send nudes to get your thing out. <laughs> oh God. I'm Nina. I'm Chloe. And today we're gonna be talking about our faves from the month of March. Correct. Can you believe it is the end of March already? No, it's terrifying. Where does the year go? I don't know. We're like a quarter of the way through already. Yeah, I don't like that. But I do like the fact that it's now spring and there's gonna be more sun and uh, nice things in the world. How was your March, Chloe? My March was pretty busy. I don't know. I can't think what I did in March. Did anything good uh... happen to you? <laughs> Let me think. Well, yesterday I did manage to spend the whole day in bed. That was pretty nice. I love a good do-nothing day. Um, I got engaged. <laughs> okay, way to one-up me there. <laughs> that was probably the highlight of my march, but... It better be. What if it wasn't? We should start with our favorite beauty product. Okay. Of March. I'll go with that. What's yours? My favorite beauty product is in my bag down here. It is a Benefit product. I love Benefit. And it's a blush highlight and bronze palette. It's like a big, you know, collection. Smell it. Ooh! I can't pinpoint what the smell is, but like, but it's good. It's good. Every time I open it, it's like, oh! So it has like a corally color. It has like a regular old brush, a regular old blush, some highlight, and then two different bronzers. They actually do two versions of this. The other one has like darker bronzers and stuff. It's super, super cute. What's yours? Mine is this beautiful, that. Um, lipstick. I have it on right now, but it's really? a different color. Wow. Yeah, this is the same brand as on my lips right now. This is the Tarte Sugar Rush Sugar Coat Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sprinkle. It's part of their Sugar Rush line, mm -hmm. which I think is geared at like younger people. But you're allowed to use it. <laughs> yeah, they didn't slap it out of my hand once they were like, you're over 25? No. I really love it. Like it just glides on mm -hmm. so smoothly and like I have really dry lips and like dry skin and dry Same. everything. Like I'm just Same. like, I'm the Sahara in like human form. <laughs> I have trouble with like liquid lipstick sometimes because drying. they feel drying. Yeah, yeah. and I, I feel like, like they get messed up. This goes on, again, very velvety yeah. and just like nice and smooth. It, it has the nice quality of a liquid lipstick but isn't super drying and it's just like, you can blend it really nicely. I keep wanting to do that just to feel it. Yeah, I feel like sometimes when People try to give me nudes. Not those kinds of nudes. Wow! <laughs> when I try to get matched for nude lipsticks, they end up kind of light. Mm -hmm. But this one is like nice. It's like a little pink, but like not crazy overwhelming. So did my uh, highlighter thing, because it's all pinky. Yeah. There you go, we've been pinked up this March. It's spring. What is your favorite skincare product for March? Let me tell you. Lanolin Lano. Say it three times fast. Lanolin Lano, Lanolin Lano, Lanolin Lano. Okay, so now you know the name. This is actually a hand cream. I always get really dry hands and I usually have to use stuff without fragrance in because I kind of have eczema and it gets oh. irritated. But this is rose hand cream, but for some reason it doesn't irritate my skin. So it smells nice and is really thick and good for, smell it, good for dry skin. Am I gonna smell everything you brought in? <laughs> yes. I think I got it on my nose, but it smells really good. Yeah, so it's really thick, which I like because it feels like it's gonna go Ooh, in better. Yeah, it feels like a little bit goes a long way. Yeah, which I like. Also, yes, it will last a long time. What is lanolin? Lanolin comes from sheep's wool, I think. Is this made from lambs? Oh good, it's a gay animal testing, thank God. <laughs> no artificial colors, fragrances, parabens, petroleum, pegs. I don't know what that is. Mineral oils or sulfates. All right, what's um, yours? Okay, mine is this lush mm. breath of fresh air toner. Is that what the name is? Yes, it is. I've been using it longer than this month. I am just such a huge fan of it. It just like makes my skin feel so refreshed. I'm not like super big into skincare. I don't have like the 10 step routine that people mm. have. I probably do like this and a moisturizer and like cleanse and that's yeah. about it. Not in that order. It's such a great way to like wake yourself up in the morning mm. with just like a nice cool mist. Do you put it on like a like a cotton pad or something or do you just literally just do it on your face? I just spritz it. I go like... No, I don't want to smell. It's like a ref it's really fresh. refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I need to be constantly misted. What is your favorite clothing item from March? <gasps> well, let me tell you. You have shoes similar to this. I saw you wear them, and I think subconsciously, I wanted them so much. I found these in H&M and bought them thinking about Nina, but not realizing until I saw your shoes again. I got them actually in England, thinking I had a great like you know deal that I wouldn't find back here, but they sell them in America. They're easy to walk in, they're super cute. They go with like every single outfit I have, yeah, which is really You literally really put that under anything in your... Yeah. You look chic. These are also a size smaller than I'd usually wear, so oh, really? if you do want to buy them, I would buy them a size down. Size down. Because they are big. 
big, apparently. You saw my shoes and bought those. Maybe I'll see these and buy another pair of shoes like that, yeah, and it'll be a nice keep going. a cycle of faux patent leather Forever boots. More. So I got this very cute cord. Ooh, you love a cord. You're so good I at that. I do love a cord. Yeah. It's just very easy. <laughs> it's like a very loose, like cropped t-shirt. Super cute. And it has a lovely little matching skirt. This is adorable. I love the buttons. I love any skirt with buttons down it that yeah. flares out. And that's Same. exactly what I like. And it's like very bright, which I'm trying not to do just all black all the time. There you go. I'm branching out because I'm growing as a person. It's been like really cold and rainy yeah. in Los Angeles. I mean, as I know late. it's LA. Yeah. But for LA, it has been really horrible. I bought this in the hopes that it will help summon more sun. I love that. More... I bought a Hawaiian shirt yesterday for the Did same you? reason. Yeah. Yes. I was like, it's gonna get nice. I'm gonna buy this. If, I, if it rains, I'm gonna look really dumb. I don't think I've ever seen you in these colors before. New month, new me. Woo! <laughs> what is your fave March? accessory. This month I was like, I need to actually spend some money and get some like actual nice rings. And I got some that are gold filled. So they're not actual gold because that would be going too far, but they're ones that won't tarnish like oh, regular ones. And they're a little like, more expensive. That's a very adult thing to do. This particular one, I'm going to end up doing this. <laughs> this particular one is uh, my favorite one. So I got it from Etsy um, and it's a handmade piece. So it took a little while to get here because the lady literally made it from, you know, some metal. I feel like it's more, more exciting than just going to a jeweler or going to Forever 21. My March fave for accessories is very tiny. It is this tiny little nose <gasps> ring. So cute. This septum ring is from a store called Vita Kush. They're an LA based uh, jewelry company, accessory company. I feel like the stuff I see on their site is like really unique. It's really nice because you don't have to pierce your nose and you can like choose what days you want to look edgy and what days you don't. It's just such a cheap and simple way to like really change up your whole look. Now we're moving on to snacks. Snack time. Snacks. I don't know how I found these or like why I tried them. I think it literally the cheese sign just drew me in. And I was like, you saw oh, cheese yeah. and you were like, oh. Exactly, basically yes. <laughs> so got them and I loved them. You know when you get like Parmesan crisps, you ever oh, tried yeah. them? They're very similar to that, but like somehow more cheesy. I come from England where all the cheese is really strong and I miss it so much, so this is good. Is American it's, cheese weak cheese? Oh, it's so weak. I didn't know. You have a weak cheesed country. There's nothing else to say about it really than they're just cheese. And you can eat an entire packet very easily and it's dangerous. That's what you want out of a snack though. Yeah, like, Moorishness. That's an English phrase, Moorish. What does that mean? It means like you want more. It's very Moorish because it means- are you No, right? no, that's a real thing. <laughs> no, that is true though. Moorish. Moorish. These are Moorish because you want more. I think my snack is Moorish. It is a Hormel natural choice turkey and cheddar snack pack kind of thing. I don't know what's it called. Are you a child? <laughs> yes. I don't like eating big meals. I like to graze throughout That's the day. That's smart. That's how you're supposed to eat. Me and cows eat the same way. We just graze on the field. I don't think they eat turkey. <laughs> they could if they grazed in the right place. There's cheese in here. There's chocolate covered pretzel oh. and there's like turkey bits. It's like a little meaty, a little cheesy, a little sweet. The three food groups. The stretch between when we have lunch at work and when we go home normally is like, it's like six hours. Too long. I need something to sustain yeah, me same. through that. And so usually this is what saves me. March is Women's History Month. Yes. So Chloe. Who's your favorite woman? Your, my, your my fave woman March choice. woman. My yes. fave March woman. So obviously we had the Oscars recently and one of my favorite actresses of all time won the Best Actress um, Award. Olivia, Olivia Coleman. Coleman. I love Olivia I Coleman. I freaking love that woman so much. And I have been watching her since she's like, forever ago. She's in my favorite show of all time, which is Peep Show. She's such a good comedic actress, but she also does obviously everything else too. She's like, so, has so much range. She's so adorable, delightful. That Oscar speech made me cry. I was so like- She was this delightful. Is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> when I first saw her, I will be honest, I never thought she'd be like a film actress. I was always like, oh, she does like fun TV. And then she did it. And I was like, yes, yes, for the Brits. <laughs> She's my idol, I love her. Who's yours? Mine is my mother. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. I was literally going to choose that. Then I got rid of her for Olivia Coleman. My mom is like a really amazing woman and I don't ever get to like talk about it. 
she, you know, grew up in the country in Sri Lanka and like studied really hard and got a scholarship to medical school and like studied and became a doctor and then immigrated here and became a doctor and then also like took care of our family for the most yeah, part. Like incredible. she was the homemaker, but also like a working mom. Wow. I like can't even imagine how she like did all of that, like wow. taking care of us and like taking care of other people in the hospital. I can barely manage to like get myself out of bed in no, the morning and to work. Love you, Mama. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love my mom too. <laughs> so that concludes our March monthly favorites. We worked very hard to share with you our, our faves, and now we're gonna take a well-deserved snack break. Can we eat those oh, cheese yeah. things? Oh, please, <laughs> yes, I was waiting for it. It's been a good March. It has, here's to April. Here's to April. Boom. <laughs> <Stir> <laughs> <laughs>